Hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. Hey guys, it's Masakan and welcome back to my video. In the light of recent events and protests against racial police violence, we saw how important videos are in helping identify police misconduct. The tech we use every day is very important and a key part of this process. That's why the series shortcut, I'm getting pulled over, is a must have. If this is your first time here, please hit on the subscribe button. It will help me grow and encourage me to make interesting content like this. Now let's get into the video. Once you load this shortcut onto your iPhone, all you need to do is say, Hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over and it will kickstart a chain of events. It will dim the brightness of your iPhone. Pause any music that's been played and start recording video from the front facing camera of your iPhone. It can also send your current location and a copy of the video to an emergency contact. So in this video, I'll show you how you can completely set this up both on Apple and Android devices. This can also be adopted to fit any situation where you feel unsafe like hey siri i'm in trouble or hey siri i am being followed on apple devices there are two ways you can set this up the first method is quite simple and all you need to do is download the shortcut via the link in my description before you download the link you need the shortcut app on your iphone this is a native ios app but if you don't have it you can quickly download it from the apple store next you need to allow untrusted shortcuts if this is your first time using the shortcut app you need to run any shortcut before you can do this once that's done, go into your phone settings, select shortcuts and toggle the allow or untrusted shortcut button. Next, copy the link in my description into your browser and tap on get shortcut and it should take you into the police shortcut. Scroll to the bottom and click on add untrusted shortcuts. It would ask you to add the recipient of your choice. Remember you can add multiple recipients. After doing this, just proceed to hit on done. Next, tap on the three dots on the police shortcuts and allow access to your location, messages, camera, photos, and any other thing that requires access so as to ensure that the program runs properly. After you've done this, hit done and we're finished. Now you have the police shortcut set up. So we're going to test it to see if it works. Hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. If you'd like to set this up manually and customize it to your taste, then you can follow these steps. First, open the shortcut app, click create shortcut and tap on the three dots. Here you can input the name. For example, I'm gonna name it, I'm getting pulled over. Select add action. Scroll all the way down and select the contact you'd like to send a message to. The message content will be like, I'm being pulled over. Ensure to turn off the option, show when run. Next, press the add button and select get current location and perform step 2 again to select the contacts you would like to send this message to. Click on add again and click on search and type in camera, click on the camera and then select take video. Next, click on back and change that to front. This will allow your camera to take a selfie video instead of a video with the back camera. Press show more and select high quality and start recording immediately. Finally, press the plus again and select the contact you would like to send this message to. Remember to turn off the show when run option. Press save and you are all done. If you use an Android device, don't worry, you can still do this. To set this up on Android, you need to download the Google Home application. The Google Home application allows you to set some series of action called routines. This is what we're going to use to create the I'm getting pulled over command. Once you open up the Google Home application, tap on the routines option. When you select the routine option, you should see three options, bedtime, good morning, and I'm home. You want to select the manage routine option at the bottom. Once you're inside of manage routines, you need to select add a routine. You want to set this new routine as a command, not a date or time. Next, type in a name. We are going to be using I'm getting pulled over. Once that's done, hit on OK. For the next step, you need to tell your assistant what to do. So we're going to add in some actions. First, we will need to go into popular actions. If you scroll down, you see some actions you need to turn on. The first action we would like to perform is to turn down our media volume. So select adjust media volume and click on the settings and bring the volume all the way down to zero, then tap OK. This is useful so that in case you're listening to music, it will automatically stop or reduce the volume from interfering with the video. 
Also select put phone on silent to prevent your phone from ringing while taking video. Next would be to send a text message. Go into the settings and type in your recipient's number and what the text should say. So here we're going to have something like, I'm getting pulled over, check my Google Photos. Now that we have these actions created, we're going to hit on add. So here you can see all the actions that we added. What we need to do now is to change the order. You definitely want the send text message action to come after the adjust media volume action. So we're going to add in a couple more actions. Here under command, type in do not disturb. The next action would be to set my screen brightness to zero. The last action we need to set is the one that tells it to capture video. So here we're going to type in take a selfie video. The reason we have this last is to prevent other actions from closing the camera app while recording. You need to ensure that you have the correct order. If not, you can change the order, hit save and you're done. Now let's test it out to see if it works. Hey Google, I'm getting pulled over. Finally, make sure that you set your Google Photos to use mobile data so if you're not around Wi-Fi, everything can be backed up to the cloud. You can do this by going into Google Photos, hitting on settings, go to backup and sync, Keep the upload size as high quality and under cell data usage, make sure both options for photos and videos are turned on. Well, that's it for the video guys. Don't forget to like, share and drop a comment if this video was helpful. See you in the next one. Peace.